Now, Coach, you use several different players, different combinations, just trying to find a rhythm. What made it difficult tonight to get something going, especially on the offensive end? Um, yeah, I wanted to find guys who were going to do the right things offensively and then follow the game plan defensively and, and really compete. And uh, I was able to see some, some out of some guys, you know, some things I liked out of some guys. And with Capella in there, it looked like hunting blocks tonight. How difficult did he make life in the paint for you guys? Yeah, he, he, made it, he made it tough. We made it easy, easy too, though, by not going up strong. So I think we can go up a little bit stronger next time. John and then Chris. John, go ahead. Ryan, when you say um, you're looking for things, guys who were doing the right things, that implies that you weren't seeing that from maybe your starters and some of those groups? I think, I think that, you know, when, when you're down – down big in the first half, um, you know, not, there's a lot of things that aren't going right. And, uh, you know, we got, we're a team, our, our margin for error isn't, isn't big right now. Um, we got, we got to be competing every possession. We got to be locked into what we need to do every possession. And uh, when we take possessions off, that's when those four minute runs, you know, where, where we can't score and then the opposing team, you know, goes on a 10-0 run, those are the ones that hurt us. So I was trying to find find guys that were uh, that were able to do do things on both sides of the ball. Ryan, do you think any? I mean, do you have any concerns about guys just responding to the coaching your whole staff is giving them right now and practices and things and trying to prepare and shore up some of the mistakes that you guys are making? Uh, I mean, I don't know. That'd be that's more of a question, you know, for those guys. But I never I never have concerns when it comes to that. Um, you know, one because I trust myself, I trust our staff. Um, but at the end of the day, I trust our players who we have. Now, it doesn't always work out the way you want, um, you know, on the court. But I, I do trust that these guys are trying to do the right things. But, uh, you know, that's one I can't answer. Uh, Chris and then Jace. Chris, go ahead. Ryan, this is the, I think the 10th game this season you guys have played without Carl. Um, and I know, obviously, how, how important he is to – to the success of the team, but when it comes to just seeing progress from that first game without him to, to now, it's a good chunk of the season. What would you kind of tell fans in terms of the progress this team has made? Because I think on nights like this, it's hard to see that. Yeah, I mean, it was hard for me to see that too. You know, um, I, I will say, I think there's there's areas that, you know, our group is going to continue to get better at. You know, I, he, he wasn't, you know, he didn't have the night he had the other night, but. You know, a guy like Jaden McDaniels, um, you know, Ant went through a stretch for a little bit there where, where I thought he was really attacking the rim, um, you know, it, you know, through a few, few games ago, um, you know, and, and those guys were making progress to me. But, you know, as a group, we got we to gotta make more progress. I get it as, as it comes when it comes to ball movement, um, when it comes to our, our defenses, acumen, defensive acumen. And, and when, when we talk about kind of guys sticking to the game plan and things like that, is that, is that an effort thing, a, a mental thing? How do, you, how do you kind of evaluate guys in that sense and, and, and whether they're trying hard or whether it's a well-intentioned mistake? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say that it's, it leans more towards well-intentioned mistakes. And a lot of times that happens with youth. Um, but there are some effort, effort mistakes too. And those are the ones that we can't have. Um, you know, if we're going to make mistakes, they got to be mistakes where we err on aggression. We'll go Jason and Britt. Jace, go ahead. Ryan, you talked about trying to find guys who are going to do the right thing tonight. I don't think a lot of people think too much about that in like the third quarter of a blow game, but does that leak into tomorrow at all? Will, will what we saw tonight maybe affect who plays tomorrow, in, even in the first half? Could, could. There's a, uh, you know, that's the great thing about the NBA is, uh, you know, you feel sick to your stomach right now, but you have a chance to, uh, in less than 24 hours, to, uh, you know, rid, rid yourself of that feeling. So whoever's going to help us win a game, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're going. Is that, is it like, and I think to, like tonight, something you almost brace yourself for when you're going as young as you are right now? I mean, there's, there's times I don't, I don't brace myself for any type of failure. You know, every, every time, you know, any, any game you go to, you prepare prepare to win. And, you know, so I, I'm not bracing myself for any, anything like that. We'll go Britt and then Ben. Britt, go ahead. Ryan, how much have you had to tweak the schemes with Carl out and, and how much um, 
has the team thus not been able to respond to the new schemes? I mean, is it is it a situation where there isn't really enough repetition and you know muscle memory on what's going on to create anything that resembles traction? And if so, how do you how do you change that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's fair, Britt. You know, but I, I don't want to use that that as an excuse because you know, with with some of the Schematic, we have done different schematic things, you know, since Carl, um, since Carl went out. So, but, but a lot of them can be covered up with, you know, ball pressure, can be covered up with communication, can be covered up with, you know, containing at, at the point of attack. And we aren't doing a great job of those things right now. So all of those things are effort things. Yeah. And, and I think that, I think that in, in a lot, in a lot of those, um, we got to see more growth. And, you know, some, I, I will say communication with, with the, with a young group is something that takes time, but it's gotta be, you know, I said, it, our margin for error is not big right now. And go ahead. Hey coach, before the game, we spoke about containing Trey Young. What went wrong, I guess, in the execution of stopping him tonight? You know, a lot of things. I mean, we, you know, he, he got a lot of, a lot of open looks. He um, got us in the air when we said we didn't want to, foul, you know, him on his pump fakes. Um, he, uh, you know, broken possessions, um, his floater in the paint, we weren't containing uh, within the pick and roll. Um, so a lot of things went wrong. Dane, go ahead. Ryan, you kind of implied playing the guys that are going to get you a win, being a little bit more for a win at this time. Curious if, if that could be cutting down your rotation. You've played 10 or more guys in every game this year. Could could you go with a nine, eight, seven man rotation in a game? I mean, you'd like to, but I, I want guys to stand out and separate themselves too. So I think that's a big, big, uh, you know, sometimes you're, you're trying to, you know, find something that works in there. And, you know, that's where you get to your, your 10 man, 11 man, you know, or tonight, you know, even bigger. Um, so, it, hey, if I get seven, eight guys, nine guys that separate themselves and say, hey, these are the guys who should be playing the bulk of the minutes, you know, then, then you roll with that. But um, I don't think – I think we have some guys who are, are very even, so it's hard to say who should and shouldn't be playing. We'll go uh, last one to Jace. Jace, go ahead. Brian, what guys on this team have stepped up as leaders with Carroll out? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. When, when we uh, – with Carl out, I mean, it's, it's been uh, – it's been tough. You know, we got, we got guys who have been in the league for a while um, who are vocal. Um, you know, Malik, uh, Ed, uh, and then uh, Ricky, um, you know, before he was, uh, you know, before he, he got uh, uh, put in health and safety protocols. Um, Delo's vocal, you know, but we got we to gotta make sure that, you know, as, as we're vocal and we lead, you know, we lead by example too. And, uh, you know, I know this group has it in, in them. Um, you know, we just, we just got to, you know, weather the storm. Uh, too, because we are going through a storm right now.